hot, arid, and desolate. Bujera's inhospitable terrain and conditions make it difficult to grow most crops here. Livestock, therefore, takes on an even greater value. For many who've borne the brunt of successive droughts, cattle are all they have left to hold on to. Yet, even that valued asset is under threat from theliorosis, commonly known as January disease. The tick-borne disease has decimated herds. The losses have been widespread. Villagers in nearby Mashingo district endured the pain of watching their livestock being wiped out beast after beast. Beyond the immediate economic costs, January disease threatens to upend some social norms. Many of the losses being counted across the country could have been avoided by timeous and regular dipping. However, the collapse of most community dip tanks on which many communal farmers rely has precipitated the death of livestock. Zimbabwe's Department of Veterinary Services estimates that out of 4,000 dip tanks around the country, a staggering 2,675 are now dilapidated and no longer fit for purpose. One of them was Makuvise dip tank in Buhera. To address the plight of cattle owners in the area, Coopers undertook to rehabilitate the dip tank in partnership with the community itself. The dual objectives being to restore the crucial dipping services for at least 400 households that use Makubise dip tank and to encourage the community to play a part in protecting its livestock. It took several weeks of planning and consultative meetings. Eventually, consensus on the most sustainable route was reached. Coopers put up finance and technical support, and the community did the rest, calling all hands on deck. 
Se community aka wana kuti so kungo uchira kungo mira kupua uchiti maita zenya zina zino betsera nokuti ichi chinangwa ichi chino to betsera is community saka taka tire gati zvitire toka tosangana pakati neve kupas pane zvanga uchira kuti batsira asi zvotiro kwanisa zvese vana jecha matombo ndezve dune zvemvura ndezve The new look dip tank was officially opened in December 2020. The Member of Parliament for the area was adamant that the project should mark a turning point, achieve a paradigm shift and be a pilot model that can be successfully replicated elsewhere. A transition from the old ways of doing things, where communities have been depending 100% on government. But now communities are now investing their own labour in their own things. What I believe as leadership, our responsibility is to capacitate communities, to give them the skills to be able to help themselves. They must be able to, 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 to be responsible for their own welfare. It is not just about financial resources. It is about commitment, where communities commit themselves to, what, to that which they want to that which can better their lives, to that which can transform the way they live. Crucially, it should also emphasize to communal farmers the value of their livestock and the need to safeguard it. What you have seen here is uh, an example of social transformation, where communities are now beginning to transform from our old civilization where people didn't know the importance of their animals until they realized the value. At this point, our communities are now aware that they've got a bank in animals, they've got a bank in cattle. It's a view Coopers has long held and sought to promote and is one of the main motivating forces behind its efforts to assist with dip tanks. It's essential for the success of any of these uh, rural-based projects for the private sector to get involved with communities. Um, I think it's shown that collaboration does work um, and that communities are able to mobilize resources within, within their own communities to, uh, to make things happen and to, and to improve um, the facilities that they have access to. Animal health is close to the, to the hearts of each of the communities that we, that we work with um, and, and we've seen that throughout the country um, and the, a simple process of making sure that animals are being dipped every week um, in particular during the rainy seasons will ensure that, that um, the mortality rate goes right down. Uh, we've heard about um, so much of January disease in, in the press and, and, and wherever we go. And just an action like this will enable communities to safeguard the animals against those diseases. The refurbishment project falls in line with government's policy to rebuild the national herd and enhance its resilience to disease outbreaks. The ministry has developed an agriculture food uh, transformation strategy, which dovetails into the NDS and to underpin the uh, food transformation strategy is the livestock growth plan, which uh, then brings us squarely to this project. Uh, the livestock growth plan seeks to undertake and achieve many uh, uh, goals among them is animal health, which of course uh, will involve deep tank rehabilitation, as we have witnessed here. More deep tanks to be built. The rehabilitation of this deep tank speaks directly into the improvement of livelihoods. Beyond resuscitating deep tanks, Coopers is also committed to capacity building and training through which it has significantly impacted many. Probably my 
30 to 40,000 people have been trained over the years by us and we did a study on a, a totally funded totally independent uh, by AECF after a training program they went and monitored a, a, a community that hadn't been trained and a community where we had trained and there was distinctly different economic improvement in in that community where the training had happened so we want to continue to roll that out along with our program and the dipping supplying dip and we can train get communities aware get livestock owners more aware of how to manage disease how to look for disease and then bring in the, the experts at the right time that's the critical part of it so that's certainly something that Coopers is very involved with and will continue to develop in the country and it's a critical part of our building capacity uh, in the livestock sector. The overarching vision of all the company's efforts are summed up in a very simple imperative. For me it boils down to the simple fact that is every cow in the country being dipped regularly every week or two weeks depending on the on the season, if it's in summer and heavy ticks, if it's every week, so that that's our measure is that every single cow in the country is being dipped regularly to ensure that there's the, the production will increase, the health of the herd, animal herd will increase, and then the overall um, the, the benefit the communities in those you will see the benefits over the years as their economic well-being will grow. Mm -hmm. There are other players in the country. And we, we want to lead it and be a big part of it, but there are other players that uh, must be involved. And those are the, those with them, the, the country then, we can achieve that goal of saying that every car is dipped weekly or, or every bi-weekly depending on the season. And the DBS is getting accurate statistics on health and we're improving the herds, um, both production and long-term success with other players in the market. We can't do it on our own. That appreciation for a collaborative effort is what gave birth to the groundbreaking Makubise Dip Tank project, whose favorable outcome is set to preserve the fortunes of many.